this program was uh, really the idea of a colleague of mine, um, Jean Yu uh, from Tianjin, who uh, teaches Chinese at our school in Hotchkiss. And she always wanted to have a cultural exchange uh, to bring some English teachers over to China. The, the program is really built on three pillars. Uh, the first one is a cultural exchange and explaining some um, habits in the United States. The second thing is to really exchange some pedagogical ideas about teaching English. And the, the third pillar is just to immerse the Chinese English teachers in the language. Uh, and give them practice and experience. I think what strikes me most about this activity is the energy and enthusiasm of the Chinese teachers here. Um, at first, they're very hesitant to speak up, but we very much encourage the Chinese teachers here to speak English and to be comfortable and understand that everyone is going to make mistakes um, when they're learning English and, and that's okay and that we all learn from the mistakes that we make and those mistakes in the end will make us stronger and I really think the teachers here have bought into that and have really worked hard and been very enthusiastic about the program. The first day that we came here to Gaoming was really exciting. Everything was very new. I've never really spent time in southern China before, and so there was a lot to learn. And what really struck me was how hard the teachers were working from the very beginning. They were very interested in not just learning about American culture, but also about our teaching practices. And the hard work that they put in the beginning was really motivating for everyone. The biggest challenge so far has been understanding how our methods can adapt well to the Chinese style because there are different things that they must accomplish in the classrooms. So in America we do not have the same kinds of tests and the same kinds of sizes of classrooms sometimes and so our activities we must constantly change so that people learn how to make them better in their own classes and not just for our environment. So this is my second year participating in the Teachers to Teachers program. And both years I have found that um, I'm learning so much about the Chinese culture and the Chinese uh, teaching system, but I'm also learning so much about my own teaching. So I have been really impressed. I think uh, the teachers have been very engaged in all of the lessons we've done. And, I, and I've been very impressed by that because we are throwing so much at them and so many new things. Um, they ask really good questions and it seems like they really want to understand everything that we've been teaching. One of my favorite lessons and, and something that I think they enjoyed maybe the most was um, a writing exercise that we actually did down here at the Lotus Pond. It was a descriptive writing exercise to teach authentic learning, learning in a real surrounding, real context, um, using the five senses. So they talked about what they saw and heard and uh, smelled and, and things like that. And they were so excited to share what they had written with their colleagues, uh, with the other teachers in the class later that day, and that was really fun to see. They started with us last week in a more timid fashion, more prepared to listen to us and to take notes, sometimes to talk quietly with one another, less prepared to be active, and yet they have quickly learned that we want them to be very active in our classes. So I think that um, asking them to stand up and move around the classroom and be part of each lesson, giving us 100% participation, has been really important. One of the activities that I think they really liked was um, observing as a group, observing one photo that I showed them on, on the screen. And I asked them first to brainstorm all different words that seemed to apply to the photo. Notice what they saw, identify objects and people in the picture, and then they created a story aloud together. 
My classes have been working specifically on speaking skills and listening skills. So I didn't ask them to do any writing. I simply asked them to observe what they saw and brainstorm about what might be going on. After they shared their stories, we shared the stories as a group and they got a real kick out of what the true story was. So that was a fun activity for them. Uh,我的家在东北,其实我们的文化是有很大不同,所以我非常想来体会一下这边不同的文化。这个项目是我们学校在三年以来一直做的一个项目。其实美国老师的教学方法和中国老师的教学方法是非常不一样的。我们希望
有机会和呃几位来自赫金斯中学的老师近距离的交流啊，这十天十来天的交流，我相信对他们以后的个人英语水平和他们英语教育水平都会有提高。这个对高明的教育来讲，将会是一件很有意义的事情。